Is it possible to build a $1 million app in just one day? For the last six months, I've been building this student exclusive marketplace. It's this startup called Empor. You can buy and sell all of your used clothes or textbooks, buy some services like tutoring, or even resell some event tickets. We are putting an end to all of the scamming that is done on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. And the secondhand good market is a $40 billion industry and it's only gonna continue to grow. So taking advantage of that community side of things is key. But 90% of startups fail. And for first time startup founders like me, that number increases to 94%. We are doing everything in our power to make sure we are in that top 6% of entrepreneurs that build a successful startup on their first ever attempt. Recently, we had a case study on Empor by surveying around 500 McGill students and the results were absolutely amazing. We had a whopping 478 students said they would love to use an app like Empor and they would be more incentivized to buy off of it than existing marketplaces. But the biggest thing is they almost all said we desperately need an app to go alongside of our website. The problem is I have absolutely no idea how in the world to build a mobile app. In fact, I've never even used these technologies and frameworks like React Native or Expo for building mobile apps from scratch. So really the first question is, can you learn an entire coding language in just one day? For the next three hours, I'm gonna be watching this entire crash course by JavaScript Mastery and then coding alongside it. In my opinion, this is actually the best way to learn how to code. It's through something called project-based learning. So basically, I'm gonna watch this crash course and get all the fundamentals in like two or three hours. And then I'm gonna be building out a coding project from scratch alongside it because the only way you're gonna ever learn how to code is by actually building something. And then hopefully after building this very small coding project, I could go ahead and start building the actual app. Today is gonna to be like a 16 hour work day, but to be honest with you, I feel like a kid on Christmas because I am so excited to do this. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm gonna sit right here and pause the video every 30 minutes. I'm then gonna take notes on everything that I learn and try to code out some of my own app from scratch alongside it without any help from the video. Honestly, I'm kind of banking on the fact that I already have a very good basic set of fundamentals and I'm really good at React.js already, so React Native can't be that different, right? I'll update you after the course. Okay, it's now like 4 p.m. and I finally finished the damn course. So I'm gonna start building out the app. My goal is to work until like 2 a.m. today. Let's just see how much I can accomplish in one day. By the way, I'm gonna be using ChatGPT a lot in this process. I already have the entire website fully functional. So I'm basically at this point just testing the little bit of knowledge that I just gained and how good ChatGPT is at translating over Next.js code to React Native code. I don't know, to me, this still feels like software engineering and programming, but a lot of the heavy lifting is being done by the AI. I think it's really cool because I can focus on the business side of things, which I love. But what do you think? Is AI gonna get too powerful? Like, are we ever gonna get replaced? I don't think so, but let me know in the comments below. I guess I really should have called this video, can you build a $1 million app using AI in one day? What a crazy world we live in, huh? Anyways, I'm probably not gonna record that much for the next eight hours or so. I'll update you when I'm done. Stack overflow is absolutely life-saving sometimes. It's 2 a.m. I've been coding for so damn long and I think I'm just gonna call it quits right now. I'm not even close to done. I underestimated how hard this would be. I only ended up getting like the sign up workflow and then some product listing workflow completed today. I honestly underestimated how much debugging you have to do with AI. It's crazy. I'll show you what I ended up doing. Okay, so first of all, when you first log onto the app, you see this login screen. We have our logo and it's like buy, sell, repeat the magic. So let's just go ahead and log in. You enter your university email and password, so I'm just gonna do that quickly. So right now when you log in, you just see this really ugly screen that just says, welcome to Empor. But this is the cool thing that I ended up actually completing. It's this very customized profile page where you can go ahead and see all of your listings and edit them accordingly. First of all, if you go and add a new listing, you'll see there's this alert that checks if you've already verified your account with Stripe. So this is how we know how to pay you. And then it takes you to this billing. I'm still debugging. Did you see how long it took to load that image? If you have any tips for that, let me know in the comments below. I'm using just the React Native images. Apparently fast images work, but 
it's not working for me. Now, let's say you are actually on the listings tab. You can see the title, a description, and then all the images. We could delete the images or add more images for the listing. And then you can go ahead and select the categories and all that. Now, this little location feature ended up taking me three hours. Basically, I wanted it so you could search for the location, for example, McGill, and it would bring you to this part on your Apple Maps where you could just click a location and then it saves your latitude and longitude in our back end. Because if you haven't seen some of my previous logs, we basically need to use this latitude and longitude to determine how close you are to other people's listings. And that's literally all I did on the app, just this page with the editing listings. As much as I'm absolutely in love with coding and I am addicted to building this app, don't get me wrong, I am so damn stressed right now because I know that in like two weeks, we're about to go to market and look at how much I have to do. I'm basically gonna end up having to build in production, which is both scary and really exciting. So to answer the question, no, you absolutely cannot build one app in one day. But I could say that I got some basics of React Native down pat. If somebody quizzed me on them, would I pass anything? Probably not, but I am able to build an app from scratch and that I'm proud of myself of. Leave a like to pray for me. I have so much more work to do. You don't want to miss the launch of this startup. It's going to be something special. So make sure you subscribe to join our community and leave any comments down below. I want to read all of them. I'm constantly trying to improve this app. I'll see you in the next one.